Good evening, teacher. How Good are evening. you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome, Graciela. Thanks for your help. Now I understand the meaning of the question. Ah, okay. So today we continue, don't worry. We are going to check the knowledge check again and with the group, right? So okay. you finished, Graciela? Yes. Ah, excellent. And you have a, you have a 10? Yes. Oh, excellent. Okay, and Lupita, how are you, Lupita? Fine, teacher. Fine. Do you, did you finish the, the, the exercise? No, I don't me encuentro en la sesión dos. Ah, uh, okay. We're going to do it today, right? Uh, we're going to check together. Okay. Graciela, Lupita here, right? And Iris. Welcome, Iris. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Uh, nice to see you. And let me see, Monica, right? Monica Colato, that's it, right? Okay, so if you want, we can start right now uh, because we're going to make the review of the class of yesterday. And to make that, we're going to, to share my, my screen. Okay, let me see. Mm, let me see. Mm -hmm. With sound here. No. Give me a sec here. Oh, yes. The first, yes, this is the one. Okay. Good. So now we're in the platform, right? And we're going to make the, the review. Uh, let's watch the video again, right? Let's watch the video again. Remember, we are in section, in section number two, right? So let's listen again the, the vocabulary and the bear about the simple present, right? Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now let me see, we have commentaries. Yes, we have many commentaries. Let's check together, right? Let me see. What rooms are in your house? Vanessa Ayala, but Vanessa is not in our class, right? He says, in my houses, there are five rooms. No, well, in my house, right? There are five rooms. 
My house has one kitchen, three bedroom, one living room, one bathroom. Okay. And it says, what rooms with S are in, in your house, right? My house have. Mm, all right. Flor, can you help me please? Is my house have or my house has? My house has. Has, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you, right? Okay. And we have, what rooms are in your house? In my house, uh, there are two rooms with four beds. Mm, okay. So we have many commentaries, but uh, I, I suppose some of these students are from our group, right? Ah, floor. Here we have floor. Look. What rooms are in your house? There are four rooms. A dining room, a living room, right? Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. What rooms are in your house? My house has a bedroom, a bathroom, a closet, a kitchen, and a, a living room, and a dining room, is it right? Gloria Escalante, yes, Gloria is from our group, right? My house has six rooms. Ah, okay, here, right? Uh, Gloria is here in the class today? Gloria, no, not today, right? So, Graciela, help me, please. What, what is the, the problem with this, Graciela? Rooms is not right. It's not right, right? It's R O R O O M M, right? S. S, rooms, right? Living room, kitchen, and bedrooms. Okay. Good. And the last one. What rooms are in your house? My house has four rooms the kitchen, the living room, and two bedrooms, yes. Okay? So thank you for your commentaries. Thank you for your commentaries. Now we're going to, to continue with the next video, right? Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, 
plural. We're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes he does or negative by saying no he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So we, we're going to see the example, right? Hi, everyone. Sorry. In this class, you'll learn how to introduce yourself in English. Sorry. In order to do this. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, here. Okay. My new apartment. We're going to reduce a little bit here. Here, right? Uh, and then we have examples here. Because of the time, I'm going to read some, right? Solo vamos a leer unos cuantos. Does he has a pet in her house? Does she, sorry, has a pet in her house? No. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Right. Okay. So let me see. Uh, Monica, Monica Colato. Monica? What is the mistake in this question, Monica? That she has a pet in her house. What do you think is the problem? That she has a pet in her house. Me, no, teacher. Aha, uh -huh, Monica, yes. Me? Okay, who said Gloria. Me? Gloria, okay, Gloria. Uh, the, Gloria, the bear you. has because she used the auxiliary does. Aha, uh -huh, so is Ms. The bear have. So you have to say have, right? So yes. when you use the auxiliary does, right, it's not necessary to say, change the has. That she yes. take... How? That she drink, that she live, etc. Cetera, et cetera. In this case, that she have. have. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And then, yes, she does. Do your neighbor have a machine? That's okay. The next one. Do you live in an apartment? No. Mm -hmm. What is the problem here? Uh, let me see. Uh, Sarita. Sara. Welcome, Sara. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Okay. What is the problem here, Sara? Uh, it says, yes, I live in an apartment. Mm, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I live in an apartment. So what is the problem here? Oh, it's correct, Sarita. Creo que no, teacher. No, right? It's, yes, I do. Yes, yeah. Um, yes, I do, right? And mm -hmm. then you can complement. Sí. Uh, uh -huh. in, De. in fact, let me tell you that uh, you can say that, right? But yes, I live. No, no. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, yes, I, uh -huh. and, then, and then I live in an apartment. Okay, let's continue, right? Mm, Sulma Hernandez. Okay, it says Sulma Mm, no, Sulma is not from our group, right? Let me see. Hi, Mejia. There are many students here from other groups. Let me see. Gloria Escalante, again, here, right? Do you eat Chinese food? Yes, I do. And no, I don't, right? Mm. The only thing here, uh, Gloria, is that you need to use a capital letter, right? Mayuscula, but, right? Also with I, capital mm. letter, right? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, let me see. Uh, Flor, I have an example of Flor. Does Abigail live in an apartment? No, she doesn't. Does the apartment have... Um, okay, here. We're going to ask uh, Flor to make the correction here, right? Flor, again, please. Flor, does the apartment have a stairs? What is the problem here, Flor? Um, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you don't know, okay. Carlos, Carlos Dominguez, can you help me, Carlos? Okay, I will give you the clue. Vamos a la pista, Carlos, right? Stairs is plural. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Okay, so stairs. Stairs is plural, right? So what is the problem here? Um, does the apartment have... What? How do you say stairs? Eh, escaleras. Ah, escaleras. Uh -huh. Um... I don't know, teacher. You don't know. Okay, it is. How? El verbo. It is. No, does the apartment have is correct? Teacher, no, no, de, no, se debe de, yeah, no se debe de usar el A. Correct. Porque es como decir un, un yes. escalera. Okay, very good. Excellent. And, and the sentences of Flora are perfect, right? But remember, just a little thing, right? Don't, don't worry, Flora. It's, it's excellent. But uh, we can make these corrections together, right? Es bueno que hagamos estas correcciones juntos para que así todos eh, vayamos escribiendo mejor, ¿verdad? Okay. And the last one. Does Katy live in an in apartment? Mm -hmm. This is the opposite, right? Aquí está lo opuesto. Aquí en lugar de ponérselo, se lo, se lo quitaron, right? So in this case, it's does Katy live in an apartment, right? Okay. Very good. So let's continue. We have many things to do today. Now we're going to go to the knowledge check, right? Uh, did all of you finish? ¿Ya terminaron todos el ejercicio? ¿O hay alguien que honestamente me diga que no lo ha terminado? Yo no lo he terminado, teacher. Ah, Yo tampoco, okay. teacher. Okay, no, no lo he hecho. Don't worry, but we're going to no, only, no. only check, right? Only check. Listen, remember what is the structure, right? The structure is... It's a question, right? And it's a yes, no question. With yes, no question, we always start with the auxiliary do or does, depending does. on the subject, right? In this case, it's you. So with, with, you, with do, we use you, I, we, and they, right? So in this case, we can eliminate the option number two, does, because it's not does you, no, right? No. And we can eliminate option number four because it's that, right? Okay, let's continue. And then uh, you, and then we have live, lives, live or live, right? Okay, in this case, even we use does or do, the verb must be normal, right? El verbo debe ir normal. Okay, no le, no le debemos agregar la S. Okay? So now you have the answer. Ya tienen la respuesta la uno, okay? Now let's continue with the next one. No, I, what? Remember the thing you have to memorize. Lo que tenemos que memorizar no es qué pronombre van con do y qué pronombre van con das. Okay? If you memorize that, no problem. So in this case, for I, eh, Cory Monterrosa, Cory, for I is do or das? Do, teach. Do, okay. So we can eliminate yeah. this option and this option. Yes. Entonces podemos eliminar esta opción y esta opción. Ya no queda esta o esta. Okay? Yeah. No, I... The last one. Okay, no, and no. then I... I, I lives or I live? Uh -huh. I live. No, 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 don't no, say. I know. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yes. Sorry, teacher. Que to todavía hay algunos que no lo han terminado, así que por yeah. eso. Solo es para darles la idea, ¿verdad? Solo okay. para darles la idea, Okay. Good. And then the last one, la última pista. Jennifer Duarte. Jennifer. We use Hello, does, does or do in this when we use it? Do. Do. Da, das. Das. Das, right? Again, repeat. Do is for mm. I, 
we, you, and they. And that is for he, she, and it, it. right? Mm -hmm. Memorize that, like this, right? Oh, okay. uh, we, do, yeah. she, does, he, does, I, do, uh -huh. like this, right? Like this, very fast, okay? Good, so this is the, the knowledge check, please, I need you finish this because we continue, we continue moving, right? So now we are going to start with the class today. Give me a second, I will reduce the size here, okay. Today we're going to continue uh, talking about the simple present, but let me share the presentation of the PowerPoint, right? Mm -hmm. Just give me a second, here, here, okay. Okay, let me share my screen with you. The PowerPoint presentation for today. Okay, beginner module two, right? I can listen some microphones, right? Escucho un micrófono que esté encendido, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so today we're going to talk about furniture. The use of there is, there are, and a conversation. The name of the conversation is, there aren't any chairs. There aren't any chairs. That's the name of the conversation, right? And also we're going to read. We're going to read about two special houses. So today we have three activities. Vocabulary. Writing Hi. two special houses. Uh, I have I have a microphone on, please. Todavía tengo un micrófono encendido por ahí. Please turn off. Turn off. Thank you. Okay. Vocabulary, grammar, conversation, and reading. Oof. We have a lot of material, right? So let's start with the first one. Uh, we start with the vocabulary, right? And the lesson objective for today, right? Let me see, uh, Beatriz Galdames, can you read the, the objective for today, Beatriz? Beatriz? By the end of this mm -hmm. class, you will learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Mm -hmm. Item, right? Furniture. Furniture means muebles, I right? Muebles. Mm -hmm. And household means todo lo relacionado a la casa, right? Everything, re the refrigerator, the sofa, the living room, the bathroom, etc. Everything, right? Everything related with, with, the, with the house, right? Okay, here we have the vocabulary for today. We have um, this vocabulary. Armchair, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, table, living room. Microwave oven, desk, coffee table, sofa, chairs, kitchen, bedrooms, lamps, bookcase, refrigerator, dresser, mirror, television, dining room, and bathroom. Okay, good. Now repeat after me, please, with the microphones off, right? Con los micrófonos apagados. Okay? Repeat after me. Armchair. Stove, stove, curtains, curtains, pictures, pictures, clock, bed, table. B -b -b table, living room, living room. At the end, the sound M, right? Room, microwave oven, b -b -b oven, microwave oven, desk, coffee table, sofa. Chairs, rug, 
kitchen, bedroom, lamps, bookcase, refrigerator, refrigerator, dresser, mirror, Television. Dining room. Remember, it's a sound of M, right? Room. Don't say room, room. No, no, no. It's room. Bathroom. Sa, 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 sa. Bathroom. Okay, this is the vocabulary for today in the platform, right? But I have extra vocabulary for you. Uh, I found in the dictionary uh, the, the rooms in a house, and we have here the, the vocabulary for the kitchen, right? Uh, in this case, only listen, because there is a lot of vocabulary, right? And later, you can check the video, and it says, uh, Al finalizar, vamos a poder ver el video cuando se suba a la plataforma y lo pueden ver lentamente para que vayan viendo cada una de las cosas que están aquí. Ok, now for the moment only, I will read for you only, right? Refrigerator, freezer. Refrigerator, freezer. No, 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 don't repeat, please, don't repeat. <laughs> And turn off the, the microphone, please. Eh, no vamos a repetir, no repetition, because there is a lot, right? Eh, hay mucho vocabulario, así que este es solo para conocimiento de ustedes nada más. Esto no está en la plataforma, es solo para que eh, ustedes amplíen un poquito el vocabulario. Ok, only listen, listen, no repetition. Ok, now, refrigerator, freezer, garbage pail, electric mixer, cabinet, paper towel holder, canister, kitchen counter, Dishwasher detergent, dishwashing liquid, faucet, kitchen sink, dishwasher, garbage disposal, dish towel, dish rack, dish drainer, spice rack, electric can opener, blender, toaster oven, microwave oven, Pot holder, tea kettle, stove, range, burner, oven, toaster, coffee maker, trash, compactor, cutting board, cookbook, food processor, kitchen chair, kitchen table, placemat. Okay, I repeat. Cuando el video esté subido, ahí lo practican lentamente ustedes. Like you say, eh, ¿cómo se dice basurero en inglés? ¿Cómo se dice eh, tabla para cortar en la cocina? ¿Cómo se dice uh, microondas, etcétera, etcétera, right? Ok, now, let's Teacher. continue with the next one. Yes, question? Question. Yes, basurero. Yo también tenía otra... Como palabra que era waste basket. Ah, yes. This is one is uh, the basket, cuando es una canastilla. Ok. Ah, ok. okay? Now, let's continue. The living room. The living room. Only listen, please. Only listen. Bookcase, picture, photograph, painting, mantel, fireplace, fireplace screen, DVD player, television, TV, VCR, ya no se usan esto, pero aquí está todavía. Ok, uh, video cassette recorders. Uh, wall, ceiling, drapes, window, love seat, wall unit, speaker, stereo system, magazine holder, throw, pillow, sofa, couch, Plant, coffee table, rug, lamp, lamp shade, end table, floor, floor lamp, 
armchair. This is the living room. And the last one, right? The last one. The bedroom. I have the bathroom, the attic, etc., etc. Because of the time, we are going to see only this, right? Now, listen, only listen. Bed, headboard, pillow, pillowcase, fitted sheet, flat sheet, blanket, electrical blanket, sorry, electric blanket, dust ruffle, bed spread, comforter, quilt, carpet, chest of drawers, blinds, curtains, lamp, alarm clock, clock radio, night table, night stand, mirror, yearly box, dresser, bureau, mattress, box spring, bed frame. Okay? This is the vocabulary for today, right? Now, uh, we are going to continue with the with the platform, right? With the platform, let me see. Okay. This is the one. Now pay attention, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Clock. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Sofa. Desk. Bookcase. Dresser. Chairs. Mirror. Rug. Television. Other vocabulary that. Okay, now. That we're going is to listen to again. And is kitchen. And repeat, right? Sofa. Give me a second. Clock. Stove. By listening and repeating the vocabulary. Okay, give me a second. Here, right? And here. Okay, now listen and repeat, please. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Clock. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Sofa. Desk. Bookcase. Dresser. Chairs. Mirror. Rug. Television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand. Okay, any questions so far? Alguna preguntita hasta aquí? Teacher, can you repeat curtain, please? Car curtains. Okay, curtains. yes, this is a, a, a special pronunciation, right? That is uh, with the throat. So you say, mm, 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 like curtains, curtains, right? Is uh, no Spanish, right? You know, it's a special pronunciation. Okay, and there are many words with that, right? 
for example, when you say um, olvidado, you say forgotten, forgotten, and mm, mm, okay? It's a special sound in this case, right? Okay, now we're going and to make some, some sense, kitchen, right? Dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bathroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now we're going to see the Hi examples. Everyone. Sorry. In this sorry. class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other house. Sorry, give me a second. I lost the. Uh, here, 2.6, right here. Just give me a second. Okay. I want to stay in this point. Hi everyone. Important to understand is your kitchen, dining room, living room. My dining room has Okay, this is the part I want. Okay. My living room has a sofa a rug and a television set, right? Now, uh, we're going to listen to some students today, right? Uh, Brian Pinto, please tell me about the, your living room. Good evening. Good evening. Um, well, my living room has a television, a chair, and a desk. Good, thank you very much. Now, uh, okay. Christopher Sanchez. Christopher, my dining room has. Christopher? Uh, my dining room. See, yes. Okay, Good yes, evening. come on. Good evening. <laughs> uh, my dining room has a table and chairs. Um, it's only <laughs> only that <laughs> okay uh, in this case you can say also a uh, dining room table dining room uh, chair but simple table and, and chair right and you don't have a picture over there no tiene una fotito ahí colgada cerca del comedor christopher no no it's oh, a okay. calendar <laughs> that, only that <laughs> okay thank you very much now my living room right my living room is going to help me, uh, Delmi Carranza. Delmi? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? I'm, I'm very good. So uh, tell me this example, please. Uh, living room, my living room has... My living room house in sofa. A sofa, uh-huh. Uh, television, mm -hmm. um, room, um, um, picture. A picture. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay. A there. clock. A clock also. Ah, oh, nice. Clock. Good. Now, thank you very much. And to finish the bedroom, right? Jennifer Duarte, please. Can you tell me what is in your bedroom? Jennifer? Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, what is in your in your bedroom? My bedroom has come on. My bedroom has um picture. Mm -hmm. A room. Um, bed, 
No veo. You don't see, okay. Uh, well, you can you can remember, right? Uh, for example, uh, you can say a uh, night table, night table, for example, noche de mesa. Yes. Yeah, right. A dresser. 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 Es un, un mueble con gavetas. Tocador. Tocador. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's Spanish, right? Okay. So. Yes. Dresser. Yes. Okay. Again. Come mm -hmm. on, Jennifer. My, my my bedroom has. Come on again. My bedroom has. <laughs> my bedroom has a dresser. Mm -hmm. A mirror. A lamp. A lamp, a lamp, right? You can lamp. see my, my dining room, my bedroom, sorry, has lamps. Or you can say my dining room, my bedroom, sorry, my bedroom has a lamp. A lamp a is lamp. Singul singular. But when you say okay. lamps, could be two, three, four, five, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? Okay. Okay. Only that, right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Then, uh, as you can see, you can also make commentary, right? Commentaries of, oh, we have some commentaries now, right? Okay, some people are not from our group. Algunos de estos compañeros no son de nuestro grupo, pero sí, um, muchos de ustedes han escrito acá. Okay, but I invite you to do, right? To do that, right? Los invito a que hagamos eso, que hagamos nuestros comentarios, así como uh, los compañeros que acaban de participar, okay? Good. So let's continue with the next topic, right? The next one it's uh, the grammar. Ahora sí vamos al grammar, right? Let's go again to the to the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Okay, can you see? Can you see? Pueden ver? No. No, 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 no. Okay. Sorry, sorry. No. Give, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second, please. And here, right? Compartir pantalla. Here, right? This is the one. This is the one. Here, right? Okay. Now? Yes, yeah, right? So the lesson yes. objective. Okay, vamos a ver los chicos que no me han participado. Eh, Jose Lobo. Jose, can you read the objective, Jose? Hello, teacher. Hello, please read. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to to form statements with their is and their are. Also, how to use. Some, no, and any, when referring to different objects. Thank you very much. Good reading, right? Congratulations. Now, Thank you. we're going to see here the, the example, right? There is and there are. For singular, we use there is. For plural, we use there are. Like when uh, we were reading about uh, Jennifer was describing her, her bedroom, right? Say, there is a lamp. But if we have two, plural, there are two lamps, or there are lamps, right? In Spanish, you say the same, right? Hay, hay una lámpara, hay dos lámparas, right? But in English, there is a distinction between singular and plural, right? Okay, now here we have the structure, look. We have there is, or there are, a, when we say uno, right? Some or any, that means algunos. And there is no, is negative. In, there is no television in my bedroom, right? No hay televisión en mi, right? Or there are two televisions in my, in my bedroom. You can say that, right? Let's see the example, right? There is a singular kitchen. There is a kitchen. There are some, some chairs. There aren't any windows. 
Mm -hmm. So many means algunos, right? Algunos. So, but there is a difference. Pero, ¿cuál sería aquí la diferencia? What is the difference between so many? Any? Eh, Kevin? Sure. Yes, yes, question. Iba a decir la diferencia. Ah, ok, good. Say it. Le iba a preguntar a Kevin, pero le vamos a preguntar <laughs> otra cosa a Kevin. Come on. You, you some, tell me. Uh -huh. Some is mean algunos. Uh -huh. Any, ningún. No, no. Some means no. algunos and any means algunos. The same, right? Significan uh, lo mismo. The same. Algunos, algunos. But what is the different? Uh, teacher, uh -huh. some is positive and any is negative. Correct, right? Mm. Because this is there are some. There aren't any. Are, there are affirmative, there aren't negative, right? So we use some in, in affirmative and we use any in, in negative, right? Negative. Okay. And we can say there is no TV or plural. There are no TVs, right? And finally, there are three tables. So we have a, some, any, no, and three, right? Now, please, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. There is a kitchen. There are some chairs. There aren't any windows. There is no TV. There are three tables. Oh, that is the structure, right? Okay, good. And here we have more example, right? Notice. There is and there are. Use there is with singular nouns. Use there are with plural noun, right? In the example, notice here we use a contraction, right? Aquí hemos usado una contracción. And instead of saying there is, we say there's, right? There's a small bedroom downstairs. There is a large closet and two windows. There is no kitchen. In plural, there are three large bedrooms. There are two windows in a large closet. There are no elevators. And in questions, is there a balcony? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Are there closets? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay? So that is the, the use of there is and there are, right? Now we're going to see the platform, right? Ahora vamos a la plataforma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, give me a second. Sharing the screen. Here, right? Okay, here is the video, right? 2.8, there is, there are, and one conversation. There aren't any chairs, right? Now, watch the video, please. There aren't any chairs in the living room. We start to form statements with there. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn lots of okay. things. Now we're some going furniture. to practice great. in a real life setting. The pronunciation. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. This apartment is great. Thanks. 
I love it. But I really need some furniture. Furniture. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. Things. Lots. I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen. But there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, now with the audio with the platform. Listen and repeat, please. This apartment is great. Repeat, come on. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen. But there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, very good. Now, now let's, let's learn how to use. Because of the time, we're not going to practice together, right? But uh, we're going to, in the next class, we're going to try to, to make a pronunciation, right? About the conversation and other vocabulary, right? Now, please, the use of there is and there are. Pay attention, please. There is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there 
then the verb to be is is um, on the example is contracted as you can see theirs we will use the article a the complement is bed in the bedroom we're going to do something similar with the next example there's no sofa in the bedroom at the beginning of our sentence we have there the verb to be is is once again on the example is contracted then we will use the article a because we are talking about a singular object finally we have the complement sofa in the bedroom the last example there isn't a table in the kitchen at the beginning of our sentence we use there the verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative then we use the article a because we're talking about a singular object finally we have the complement table in the kitchen now let's look at the right hand side of this chart for these examples we're going to talk about plural objects so we need that formula there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart there are some chairs in the kitchen at the beginning of our sentence we use there after that the verb to be are next we use some it's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements we can't say any for example finally we have the complement chairs in the kitchen our next example there are no chairs in the living room at the beginning of our sentence we use there after that the verb to be are next we're going to use no notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative and you can also say aren't any as well either one is correct uh, finally we have the complement chairs in the living room for our uh, last example there aren't any chairs in the living room we start our sentence with there next the verb to be aren't after that we're going to use any it's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements we can't say some for example finally we have the complement chairs in the living room now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment okay good now uh, we're going to make the final example right but telling uh, affirmative and negative, right? Uh, and you can say in my kitchen, in my living room, in my uh, dining room, etc., etc., right? So uh, in this case, let me see, Kevin, Kevin Portillo, please. Can you help me, Kevin? One affirmative and one negative example. Hello, Kevin. Okay, I don't see Kevin. Ah, here. Kevin, can you hear me? Hello? Okay, so let me see. Uh, Maritza Cañas, no. Uh, Roberto, Roberto Quijano. Roberto, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. I need you to tell me one affirmative and one negative uh, sentence using there is or there are uh, mm -hmm. in your house. Uh, there are some coffee table in my house. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, in the kitchen, in the living room, in the bedroom? In the bedroom. Um, in the bedroom, okay, mm -hmm. good. Thank you very much. Uh, uh -huh. Continue, continue. Uh -huh. uh, they aren't any um, a kitchen in my, uh, in my apartment. Okay, no kitchen. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now let me see. Suleima Magaña. Please, Suleima. Can you help me? Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we didn't have all, uh, all the students participate today, right? No hemos hecho que muchos participen, pero vamos a tratar de que la mayoría. Okay, please, tell me your two examples. One affirmative and one negative, please. Um, there are some ref, refrigerator, refrigerator? Uh -huh. in the kitchen. Okay, in your kitchen, right? Okay, good. Now one negative, please. There's a table in the living room. There, there is them because it's negative, right? Mm -hmm. there, there isn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, before I finish the class, let me tell you that we're going to go to the knowledge check. You can make it today or you can make it tomorrow. But I need you finish this knowledge check for the next class because we're going to check it together, right? Necesito que me terminen este ejercicio también. Los que no me han terminado el anterior, el uh, 2.4, me lo terminan. Y ahora estamos con el 2.9, ¿ok? Uh, además, queda pendiente un ejercicio de lectura, right? Este, así que por favor me lo practica, please. Y aquí está el último tarea, 2.12, otro knowledge check acerca de la lectura. Ok, so we have a lot of work. Esta semana sí tenemos bastante trabajo. Ok, so please make the three knowledge check. We have three, right? Eh, 2.4, 2.9 y el 2.12. Ok, so do you have any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No question. No questions? No. No. no question. Teacher, okay. teacher. Yes, yes, come on, Hi, go teacher. ahead. Eh, la, las, las, las que están pendientes es tomorrow. Yes, 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 because tomorrow we, we, we're going to finish section, uh, section two. Para ma two. Ahora acabamos de two. terminar la sección dos. Entonces, para okay. mañana comenzamos con la sección tres. Mm. Quiere decir okay, que todo, todos los laboratorios, estos ejercicios que vemos en la plataforma deben estar terminados para mañana. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Thank And remember this, right? You have to do it by yourself. Tienen que hacerlo ustedes solito, intentarlo. Si hay alguna instrucción que no entiendan, yo con gusto les ayudo. Eh, les, les pongo ejemplos que son parecidos, ¿verdad? No les puedo dar la respuesta, obviamente. Pero algo así para que ustedes se guíen si no lo entienden. Uh, aunque muchos de estos están eh, en el sentido que no cuesta, solo es de tomar una opción y ya respondemos. Así que creo que no hay mucho problema con esto, ¿verdad? Y en las lecturas, pues hay que ver el video de las lecturas y contestamos de acuerdo a lo que aquí nos dice, ¿verdad? A las lecturas. ¿Mm? Ok. So, thank you very much. Okay. Eh, see you, everybody. You. Solo, solo se me quedan los, los chicos de Holsing. Por favor, para la, la foto del recuerdo, como siempre. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Ok. Estamos ya bien peinaditos, bien perfumaditos los de Holcim. Sí, ok. A la cuenta de tres, dos, Ah, perdón, eh, los que no tienen, los que tienen apagada la cámara, enciéndamela, por favor. <risa> <risa> ok, ¿ready? Vamos a hacerlo otra vez, permítanme. 
Permítame, lo vamos a hacer otra vez. Abranme las cámaras, porque si no, me van a reañar a mí. Ok, hoy sí. Vamos. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Good night. You. Good night. 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 Good night.